Hi everyone. Hi. So we are going to get some rain from Hurricane Debbie, right Peter? Yep. So we like to come up here anytime we're going to get some bad weather and we like to change out the coop litter and uh, make sure they have plenty of food to last them through the rainy weather and make sure that they've got somewhere dry to be if they don't want to be out in the rain. Um, the ducks though, they love the rain, right? The ducks will stay out in the rain all day, it doesn't matter. Um, Red doesn't like the rain. So Peter is going to go pick some vegetables out of his garden and I'm going to get started on cleaning the scoop. Okay little lady. This, your chicken in here Peter, she just decided to brood in the coop. Like a silly girl. Isn't she silly? Look at her. She thinks that she's going to hatch some eggs. Except we don't have a rooster, so she's not hatching anything. Typically they brood in the nesting box, but not this girl. I'll tell you what, I've never had a barred rock until now. For the last year. I've had her for about a year now since she was a chick. And she's a funny bird, isn't she, Peter? She's sitting on them. I'll get him out when I uh, get, get going in the coop. All right, watch out, buddy. Watch out. It's gonna come down. All right. Now, I know some people use sand in their coops. We just use pine shavings. We have not made the switch to sand. And I know I'm gonna get judged. Why am I using a snow shovel? That's for snow. Well, one of the first years we lived here, I lived here, I should say. We always had snow up in Northern Virginia where I'm from, where I grew up. But one of the first years that I lived here, I was like, oh, we need a snow shovel. This has never been used to shovel snow. <laughs> so I use it to help me clean out my coop. Very handy. Come on, lady. She's going to have to get up. She doesn't want to because I bet you she's sitting on some eggs. How many eggs do you think she's sitting on, Peter? Um, five. Five? Well, we're going to see when we get, I get her up. Three perfectly, oh, there's an egg there. Three perfectly good nesting boxes, and she's got a brood in the dirty, that? nasty coop. Where's the egg? She's sitting, oh, here's an egg I just found. You want to put it in the Tupperware? <laughs> these chicks and he went you bought chicks you don't have a chicken coop and I went I know I need you to build me one and my dad my dad is amazing there's just no other way to describe my father he doesn't just um, come and do things he spent so much time on the internet on YouTube watching videos seeing all the different types and styles and ways you can build a coop and he found um, the Carolina Coops YouTube channel and he saw their coops and how predator proof they are. And he, he called me and he said, I found a coop I'm gonna build you, it's a Carolina coop. And I said, okay, whatever you think is best. My dad, I was so new to chickens, but anytime I had a chicken question, I could call my dad and ask him my chicken question. And he knew the answer because not only did he research the best type of coop to build, he researched taking care of chickens and raising chickens. 
so my dad just became an encyclopedia of knowledge on not only the chicken coop, but also bird maintenance and how to care for them and keep them alive. And anytime I've had a question, you know, when I had my first egg bound bird, I could call, I called him when I saw my first bumblefoot, I called him and he just, he knew all of the information for me. And, you know, I've added some stuff to the flock, like the turkeys that he's not so familiar with. Um, but man, I would not have this chicken coop today if it were not for my dad. And I will say in the nearly five years since he's built it, I have never lost a bird inside my coop, inside my run. This thing is 100% predator proof. I don't even know, I'm not confident that a bear could even get into it. Like this thing is so solid in construction and design. I've never once been afraid for my birds in here at night. Um, nothing is getting to these birds. <laughs> Peter, are you bothering Paula? All right, so now they've got a nice, clean, dry coop to sleep in. I've got another bag of pine shavings that I'm going to put down in the run because, you know, Paula, our turkey, and our turkey colt, who we don't know if it's a hen or a tom yet because it's still kind of small, um, and then the ducks, they sleep in the run. So I'm going to put some pine shavings down in there for them so that they're nice and dry when we get all this rain. Hey, Paula. What's up, girl? yet. Paula hates the rain. <laughs> it's not raining yet. Hey, big mama. What, you coming in here to be nosy, Red? Alright, you think they'll be happy with all this dry shaving? Poor Paula looks happy already. Paula some pats. Yep. Okay, so Peter and I had to take a quick break from our chicken coop chores to run the tractor supply because we were all out of chicken feed. Um, my husband and Peter uh, refilled the feeders last week and forgot to mention that I need to go to tractor supply. And I guess everybody in the area had the same idea as me um, to get all their feed before this storm comes. Um, unfortunately, my local tractor supply did not have the feed that I normally feed my birds. I usually feed my birds a mixture of um, layer crumbles. They didn't have any layer crumbles in stock, so I had to get mini pellets, which they don't particularly like. But y'all are going to have to suck it up and eat it. This is a state of emergency type situation over here. Okay? No complaints. And then they also didn't have any scratch grains of any brand. Um, I usually mix one bag of scratch grains into two bags of the layer crumbles and they were completely out and the next closest tractor supply is about 45 minutes away and I just couldn't do that with uh, the baby and Peter today. So we're gonna have to just make do with what we have and we'll get the right stuff next week when it's back in stock. So the rain is starting to come a little bit. Um, it's getting really gray out. So we're gonna hurry up and get everybody fed and taken care of before this storm hits. Mama can sling some chicken feed, can't she? Mama? <laughs> yes, my love. What's wrong? Well, they were sold out, so we're gonna make do with what we have. They'll live. The wind's picking up. So Seth um, actually came up with the feeders and the waters that we use in our run. Let me just 
went to our local Lowe's and got some PVC pipe and threw these together. We have four of them for all the birds. Three have the chicken feed and one has the um, game bird feed for Paula. Now I would be lying to you if I said that they don't just all eat whatever. They do. Paula will, Paula will guard her feeder and she will eat her feed more than anything else, but I have definitely seen her eat the chicken feed. Thank you for watching everybody. We're gonna go pick through the garden, okay, before this rain really starts. Does that sound good? Yep. Okay, thank you everyone. Bye.